Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a synth DIY guy. Continuing on our series on easy kits, today we're checking out the Vibrasm by Patching Panda. This is a very high quality triple filter with CV control, manual control and separate outputs for each band, as well as a global shift control and CV input with a tenuverter, a mixed output and both manual and CV control over resonance. Band 1 is switchable between low pass and band pass and band 3 can be either band pass or high pass. It sounds amazing and is super easy to build since you only need to assemble the panel components. Patching Panda were kind enough to send me two of each kit for the Vibrasm and the Punch. Stay tuned for my video on the Punch coming soon. In the baggie you get some cool stickers, the pre-populated PCB, a very fine black aluminum panel wrapped in a printed guide, all of the hardware components, cool black aluminum knobs, the power cable and mounting screws. Building it is quick and easy, took me about 20 minutes. Start with the power header, then start mounting the pots, switches, jacks and LED without soldering them at first. You'll find that in order to mount the jacks flat against the PCB, you need to trim and reflow the protruding terminals behind the power header. It's also very important to place two washers over each pot before placing the panel to adjust for the height difference between jacks and pots. Now fit the panel and tighten all of the nuts. The round banner nuts are a nice touch for the pots. Good thing I had the Bifaco tool to tighten them. Now just turn it all around and solder everything up. Make sure you don't skip the switches, they're easy to overlook. Now tighten the big knob with the included Allen key and push in the small ones. I have to say this is one of the most satisfying knob and pot combinations I've seen in Eurorack. They feel great. All right, so let's take a look at what this thing is capable of. The Vibrasm or Vibrasum or Vibrasum or I like to call it Vibrasium, like some sort of superhero metal. So let's take a look at the scope, shall we? We'll give it a saw wave from the teaser. We'll take the output of the Vibrasum into my oscilloscope right here. Okay, now let's listen to that. So this is the input attenuator right here. This is the resonance. This is the shift knob, which is affecting the cutoff of all three frequencies. Let's take a look at one frequency at a time. So this is the low frequency. So that's the low pass, first band. With resonance. maximum resonance. I'm going to bring down the input a little bit so it doesn't distort. So it really emphasizes the harmonics. But if I take out the input, you don't get self-oscillation. So this is not a filter that self-oscillates. It's not meant to. Number two, second band. This is a bandpass only. And then band 3 has its own output as well. And that can be bandpass or high pass. Just like the first one can be low pass or bandpass. So all three can be bandpass filters. Now let's listen to the mixed output. So this is all three bands now. You can really hone in on a particular sound. And then you can shift all three frequencies together with the shift knob. 
And you have a CV input for that shift with its attenuverter right here. Cool. And it's attenuverter, so you can, of course, invert the signal that's coming in. Make it as subtle or as extreme as you like. Here's the audio rate. Cool. We also have CV resonance. I'm sending audio rate to the CV resonance now. Cool beans. How about we look at a white noise now? How about we take the individual outputs now? Now I have two vibrisms here. Why don't I play with creating a six output spread of my white noise? So the way I'll do that is I'm going to split the incoming white noise and then I'm going to take separate outputs, all six separate outputs. And there we go. Now we can use LFOs here from the filter 8 and we use opposing LFOs to shift the frequencies on both filters. Let's send the vibrism a square wave now. I'm going to take this pulse wave from my 3340 analog VCO, put it into my second vibrasm here, and let's send its mixed output to input number one here on my mixer. Now I want to send it some audio rate FM. So let's take the sine wave here from the teaser, and we'll send that to the shift input. Let's send it to just frequency three now. Send it to the shift again. What about if instead of the sine wave, I use a saw? Here, we can use the ramp here too.
happens if I cascade them? Instead of cascading them, let's send them to separate outputs. sending an LFO to the pitch of my 3340 oscillator. So it goes from this very slow pinging. It sounds very acoustic. Okay, so I've set up a little subtractive patch here. Basically, it's the teaser VCO ramp wave getting split and sent to both vibrasms. Both vibrasms are being voltage controlled by an envelope generator from the product. The output of each vibrasm is going into one side of the punch module, which you will see a demo by me soon for the punch. It's a dual envelope VCA with accent and velocity input and a bunch of other cool things. And I'm actually accenting each side of the punch with a different pulse from my Euclidean Circus V2, which is another module I'll be reviewing very soon. This is what this sounds like. I'm sequencing with the mug slicer, so I'm just gonna hit play on the mug slicer. Let's send opposing LFOs to frequency 2 of each vibrasm.
that's it for now hope you liked the video i hope you liked the module if you did hit like subscribe go get yourself one at the store join us on patreon you know all that stuff happy new year coming up soon i don't know if i'll do another video before the first so if not happy new year everybody thank you for hanging out with me in this channel i'm looking forward to many more videos coming next year and i'll see you soon stay noisy bye